welcome to another episode of Mama Zulu Health. We will be talking about antibiotics uh, because it's a very sensitive type of medicine when it comes to our children's health. I want to give you two very interesting scenarios, but before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly do so so that you're able to get all our videos as we upload them. What is an antibiotic? It's a medicine used to treat infections and sometimes we need them for treatment of our children's infections. An antibiotic is a medication used to treat infections. I'll give you two very interesting scenarios because uh, as a parent you have to be very wise to avoid uh, causing resistance to your children when you're treating these infections. I will use parent A and parent B to give you these examples. So both parents have uh, children with the same symptoms and signs. So we can start with parent B who gets a call from home that the baby looks unwell. So she goes to the boss, borrows a day off and goes home. So on finding the baby has some signs and symptoms of being unwell, she goes to the neighbor, consults a neighbor, asks her, my baby is unwell, there is fever, there is this and this, what can I do? Then the neighbor advises, oh, my child was also unwell with the same symptoms, you can try this antibiotic that was given at a pharmacy out there. So she writes the antibiotic for her. Then the parent goes, buys the same antibiotic, comes and gives the baby. After a few days, uh, the baby still has the same signs and symptoms. There is no improvement. So she goes to the next neighbor, consults. Uh, she's advised some things that she can buy over the counter. Then she goes, buys another antibiotic, uh, a more expensive antibiotic. And then she comes, gives the baby. After the third day, there is no improvement. Then she goes back to work, borrows another day off, the third day off. Uh, goes uh, now to the pharmacy, consults, then she's told uh, now to buy a real medication that can work. So she goes, and now by the time she's giving the baby, it's the third time she's giving the baby, the baby is worn out, tired, not comfortable taking so many medications. By the time the baby is getting well, there is so much stress, there is a, and a lot of things, but the baby finally gets well. So parent A also receives a call from home that the baby is unwell. So she asks for a day off from the boss. She goes home, finds that the baby has some bad signs and symptoms of an illness. So she decides, let me take this baby to the hospital to see a doctor. When she gets to the hospital, the doctor does some thorough investigations, uh, finds out exactly what is wrong with the baby, and writes a prescription for an antibiotic that is specific for that same infection. So when they give the baby the medication at home, by the third day, the baby is improved, the baby is well and uh, recovered. So what does that teach you? You have to make the right decision. So parent B spent three days off from work, which is not very comfortable even for the employer. It spends a lot of money to buy three different antibiotics for trials and also exposes the baby to... Uh, taking so many medication when it was not really necessary. But parent A make a right decision, uh, goes straight to the hospital, spends only one day off, spends only one um, type of medication on the baby and spends less money because they only bought one medication. That is a wise decision, isn't it? So it is up to you to make the right decision, uh, which is healthy for the baby, safe for the baby and consumes less time and money for you. An antibiotic is a very sensitive type of medication and it should only be used on a doctor's prescription. Reason being, it can cause uh, unnecessary side effects if used wrongly and they can also uh, cause resistance, meaning uh, overuse can lead to them not working anymore for that infection that was intended. The other thing is uh, because it can cause unnecessary side effects if used for the wrong purpose. I hope this will be of help to you. Thank you so much. Uh, kindly subscribe and like our channel. Ask any questions if you have and leave a comment. Thank you.